Hello everyone, this is Anki. Anki is a free program designed to help a person remember information. You can download Anki for free from http forward slash ankisrs.net. Simply scroll down to the section that reads download Anki and find the appropriate version for your operating system. Simply follow the installation instructions and within minutes you can begin using Anki. Think of Anki as a set of flashcards. However, unlike your average flashcard, Anki has the ability to add images, audio, and video to each flashcard. This makes Anki a great tool for students who struggle with or just simply want to improve their hand-on knowledge of a topic or course. It excels at helping students study foreign languages, prepare for exams, and about anything else that involves memorization. This is a demonstration on how Anki functions. First, we open up the program. Now, we already have some decks made, so we'll use one of these for the explanation, but you are able to make your own decks and customize them very easily with Anki. Once you have selected a deck, you will begin studying. You can replay any sound files by hitting the R key, or by going down to the More drop-down box and selecting Replay Sound. Toi. You can see at the bottom of the screen it says again, good, and easy. If you select again, you will study this card again shortly. If you select good, it will give you that card again later on in the session. And if you hit easy, it will give it to you in a future session. Anki specializes in helping you study by making it possible to maintain your current knowledge by periodically cycling through older material all the while dumping a good portion of your time into the new material that you have not yet mastered. You can even customize the proportion of old to new material that you wish to study on top of the amount and how often. Anki can be used for many things to help you study. It is basically the ultimate flashcard program. However, the coolest part about it is not the fact that you can customize each card in any which way, add pictures, sound files, videos, customize how much text, where the text is, the proportion of which you get the cards or study. No, the coolest part about Anki is the fact that these decks that you can spend a lot of time making and making tailored to your exact needs can be shared with anybody. It's very easy to find these shared decks. They're free for everybody. If you just go to the Anki website, at the top right of the page, you will see Anki Web. You just go to Anki Web, hit Decks, and Get Shared Decks. Once you are here, you will see many popular categories. There are more categories than this, and many do not fit into categories, but these are simply the most popular Anki decks that are shared. For the sake of explaining how easy and how cool these decks are, I'm just going to click on Japanese real quick. Once the list pops up, you'll see that many of them are rated by stars, so you can know which ones people like the most, how many stars they got. You can also see when they were added, how many actual flashcards are in each one. Some of these have lots, like this one has 200,000, that's pretty crazy many audio files and many of them also and then pictures that go with a lot of them so we're gonna click on one of them real quick to see what's inside and you will see that here are some example cards and they just show the expression the meaning the reading and then an audio file Sugu. and then a picture describing it so this would be very good for learning a language uh, there are many other decks there are ones for practicing uh, mathematics there are ones for helping you learn geography and there are also ones that actually help you memorize certain pieces of classical music. Well, they'll just have a piece of the classical music play and you have to name it. So that is all the stuff you can get in these Anki decks. All you have to do is just hit the download button. And then once it's done downloading, you don't have to do anything special. You just click on it and boom, you have it. You have it in your Anki deck and it'll be in your set of decks. You just click on it. It'll be right here. This is the one I just downloaded. There are a handful of other alternatives to Anki. However, none of these alternatives are as flexible or powerful. Many of them run into the problem of being inefficient, clunky, buggy, or too specialized. Anki can handle over 100,000 cards with no problem. It saves time, money, space, and a very big hassle. So there's really no reason to use anything but Anki if you have a computer around.